we are ready to go with the two-wheel drives. My favorite kind of trucks, because those front ends just go right up in the air. And when you're talking two-wheel drive trucks, you can talk no better than the Kool-Aid Kid. This is Bobby Johns from Moundsville, West Virginia. One well of a driver. Super pole for the Kool-Aid Kid. Trips with just a beautiful job with this. Bobby Johns, you know, maybe he's got a little advantage. He owns a speed shop competition parts there in Moundsville. And, uh, yeah, he thinks it's a, yeah, number one. <laughs> you just have to ask Bobby. He'll, it don't, you don't even have to ask him. He'll just tell you how good he is. So, Bobby, before we got going tonight, his face was sunburned. I said, Bobby, you've been out in the sun. He says, yeah, I've been in trouble all afternoon. It's time to go to work. And work he did. What a better way you couldn't find to start a two-wheel drive class than with Bobby Johns and the Kool-Aid Kid. The CPEX turning hard. Bobby into the supercharged motor. You know, like right off the starting line area. The horsepower is good. The front end bouncing across the top. Beautiful job. Right on the end, of course, the, the weight transfer machine. The weight is on top of him, picks the front end up, and Bobby John has got a great run for him tonight. Hey, he's called a Kool-Aid kid, but he was packing some punch tonight. Bobby Johns goes the full distance. It's full tilt boogie for the Kool-Aid kid. All right, here he is, Alan Gaines, one of the hot, hot names in truck pulling. Alan has given the wheel tonight to Scott Dews, and this is the Orange Blossom Special 2. Ken, the real Orange Blossom Special Train, that one is parked about uh, a half a mile from this arena. Is that right? Well, here comes the Orange Blossom Special 2. He make it look easy. Bobby Johns has got some company because the Orange Blossom Special 2 will go to the pull-off. Listen to this. This young man's 24 years of age. He's been involved in pulling for 12 years. Well, when Alan Gaines can't drive, who does? Scott Dews does. Beautiful job. Thank you. For Scott. Watch, watch Scott. I mean, it's perfect. Eases with it just a little bit. Now we're going to trip the trigger. And it's wide open on the Orange Blossom Special. Scott handling the driving chores like the super pro that he is. And a fan is telling him to come on. And he did that. A full pull. Orange Blossom Special gives Bobby John some company in the pull-off. Well, here is hands across the sea. This is the rice burner. This is Bill Romesburg. It's... As I think we've pointed out on a number of occasions, a Toyota cab and a Chevy engine, it was good enough to get Bill Romsberg the two-wheel drive championship last year. He is a wonderful man. Mike Galloway had a chance to talk with him earlier tonight. Bill Romsberg is the defending national champion. Bill, what's it going to take to win here tonight? Well, last night we had a little trouble with the traction, so I think we're going to have to lighten the front end up tonight and try to put the bite on the back end of the truck to get it to hook a little better. How's the track staying? It, will it go together? It uh, stayed pretty consistent, but it didn't come back together. It was a little sandier than normal. What's your number for tonight? I think we're five. That ought to be just about far enough down not to have any track left by the time it's our turn. We'll see if Bill Romesburg's got track in just a few moments. Bill Romesburg, the bearded one, behind the wheel of the rice burner. A seat mic that sits right in the center of that cab. <laughs> There's a... The rice burner, well, that's a good place to be, Kim, because the simple reason that you see both sides of the truck, you keep your eye on what's happening right down the middle, and that's what you want. Bill will come storming. Ooh, we've seen it. Oh. The, they're just... You know, knocked on the door, but traction wasn't there. Bill called for the motor early in the pull. The motor barked to life. I thought had a great run, but uh, mid-track with the box coming up on it, you saw the motor begin to lug down a little bit, and it's not going to be a pull-off situation for Bill tonight. 
Now, oh, Bill Romsberg with a little rice a roly down the track to the tune of 142 feet, four and a half inches. We'll be right back with the two-wheel drive pull-off here from Orlando in just a moment. We're back in Orlando. Ken Brew with Mike Gattaway all set for the two-wheel drive pull-off. We've got three. Bobby Johns in the Kool-Aid Kid and Scott Dews in the Orange Blossom Special 2 and Mike Slater in Darth Invader. The Kool-Aid Kid was the first to go the full distance. He will be the first to pull here right now in the pull-off. Mike, Bobby Johns, always near the money. Bobby Johns is very, very tough, and he, he handles his truck well. I think it's important to point out that the sled has been re-weighted, re-geared, for this pull-off, and so you're not going to see the distances that we saw in the first round. But Bobby sets the pace. This is the mark that the other two trucks will have to surpass to take over the lead and to win this. And Bobby Johns puts a real tough mark out there to start with, Ken. Well, he's got the distance to beat now, 109 feet and 4 inches, so you can see that it is uh, substantially shorter than a full pull. But again, that's due to the reweight of the box. Next up is Scott Dews in the Orange Blossom Special 2. You know, Mike, I, uh, of the three that are in the pull-off right now, it, it seemed to me at least that Dews went out the door the easiest on his first pull. And he did just that, Ken. He went out with more authority, I'd say, than the other two. The other two looked like they just kind of scraped across, but uh, Scott went out and I thought had power left over. In our business, we call it sharp. He looked sharp on his first pull. And here he is waiting for the green flag, and he has it. Well, he has eclipsed what Johns has done, and then some. He put the pressure on Mike Slater with that run, He's just really putting it on him hard. Mike you know, was sitting back there in the last place in his pull-off. That's not a bad place to be. You gotta, you kind of understand what you've got to do when you get into that situation in the pull-off. 130 feet and six inches. Scott Dews bettering the mark of Bobby Johns by more than 21 feet. Well, the third one up is the Darth Invader. Now understand that uh, Mike Slater has watched both Bobby Johns and Scott Dews do their thing. Now Slater knows that he must better 130 feet and 9 inches. The Darth Invader. What will be the driving style? Will Mike ease it out or will he go for it all in the starting line? I think he'll go for every bit of it right in the starting line. no ease in that one he was old business right from the start but Scott Dews as we talked earlier and there Scott is getting congratulations from Bill Romsberg yeah number one and Paula Kathy all of them congratulating this young man you know he's been around this as long as anyone and we feel like he's just one of the you know one of our kids but seeing him grow up in this sport taking over now driving for Allen super job on Scott's part I wonder if Allen said don't call me unless you win I would venture to say that Alan told him something like that. Yeah. And they did go over today and look at the original Orange Box. Oh, they special. did. That's kind of like paying homage to the Shrine. Scott Dews, the winner, here in the two-wheel drive pull-off. And we'll have more from Orlando in just a moment.